Some say on Halloween night, if you go past seven black gates, you will see the seven gates of hell. I thought it was a myth at first, until I tried it out. I went past seven black gates around my neighborhood. Then when I went to sleep, my dreams were in a furious fire. Then it stopped. There was a man, tall and bulky. His eyes were rather squinted, which shows he's old. His legs and hands were thin, and looked like he could barely support his weight. He spoke. He spoke with a scratchy and dying tone. He said, He chuckled and opened the gate. My whole body became numb. Moving on its own, I could not fight it. Struggling did not work. I gave up trying to fight it and struggling. Without control, I went past the first gate. Gate 1. I saw fire showing the corpses that were horribly mutilated, desecrated, and burnt. They were sobbing so loudly that I couldn't hear the crackles of the fire. One came to me, with one eye and bullet holes all over him. He said, We are the desecrated corpses who did not get a proper burial. We are to stay here till Judgment Day. I went past him into the second gate. It was in a building. Gate 2. I was in a dungeon. There were people tied up, screaming in pain. One was being sawed in half, very slowly, and his body kept healing, ready to be sawed again. One was in the Iron Maiden with the door being closed and opened, and the body looked as normal as ever. A man in an executioner's mask said to me, We are the torturer, tortured by our own devices. I went past him to the exit. I walked to the third gate. Gate three. This time I was in a forest. This time it was silent, except for a few yells. There was a man hanging from a noose. Another one fell off a cliff, reappeared, and fell off again. I was running. Away from what I saw was a horribly burnt woman chasing after me. I already knew what this one was. These were the people who committed suicide. I ran into the fourth gate. It was in a palace. Gate four. I was in there. I saw emperors, politicians, and really wealthy people. An emperor was being gnawed on by lions. When the lion ripped a limb out or slashed him, the part grew back. A politician was being beaten by what looked like shadows in prisoners' clothes. A man in a suit came to me and said, we are the corrupted people. The people who used our power to help ourselves, not the people. I walked to the next gate, the fifth. Gate five. I was in another room. There was a man tied up on a bed, lashed by floating spiky leather whips. A woman was being burned by a lighter but her screams and cries were muffled by a cloth that was used as a gag. A rather large man came up to me and said, We are the rapists and the sex offenders, paying for our crimes on Earth. I ran to the sixth gate. Gate six. I was in a room again. I saw a man and woman being stabbed their wounds healing almost immediately. Another person was being buried alive, and another being hit and jabbed with a floating metal bar. I knew who these were. They were the people who were murderers, being harmed the way they killed their victims. The exit was the seventh gate. And the final one, 
This nightmare is almost over. It's almost over, I said to myself. Gate 7. I was outside. There was a man wearing a shroud over his head, coated with explosives. He blew up, regenerated, and blew up again. Another one was being bitten, stabbed by sharp metal objects, and burned by torches, lighters, and matches. They were held by people who looked like shadows. One of them came to me and said, They are the mass murderers, the terrorists, and suicide bombers. I am a shadow of one of his victims beating him and taking revenge for killing us on Earth. I ran to the exit. When I woke up in the morning, I became horribly scared. The images of what I saw ran through my head. In fact, that was all I was thinking for the whole year. It became Halloween again. I didn't dare go outside at night. I just went to bed. It took me a while to sleep. When I did, I was in front of the first gate of hell. There was a teenager like me. He was staring at me. He was shocked to see me. My body then became numb. I could not control myself again. I said to him in a scratchy, dying tone, Ye maklo ot et nefesetak fo ile. I chuckled and opened the gate for him. After he went inside with an expression that looked like he was fighting something and struggling. I looked at myself on a goblet filled with what looked like blood. I saw the gatekeeper. I became the gatekeeper. In fact, I am the gatekeeper.